Hi guys, Amy Hunt, Home Business Expert. On day 10, we are going to learn how to use Google to find products to sell. Whether Whatever platform you're trying to sell on, I'm gonna teach you two ways that you can use Google to figure out what products are selling online. Thanks for watching, Amy Hunt, Home Business Expert, and see you on the other side. So whatever your case may be, you're here to try to figure out how you can make money. If you're interested, contact me. I am starting a new sideline business that isn't necessarily drop shipping. If you're interested in learning how to team up with me and move forward into a different way to make money online, then contact me through my website, amyhunt.biz, or look in the link below for a Facebook connection. But let's get started here on Google. How do you find products on Google? So this is another free way uh, to find products. So let's just do dog collar piggybacking off of yesterday. You type in dog collar and then you go to shopping. And this is one way you can find what is actually selling because those items are, they're gonna be sponsored right here, which means they're paying to, to rank up here. But if you scroll down a little farther, you're gonna see what isn't sponsored and that's usually these. Okay, so these items right here are ones that aren't sponsored, so they're probably gonna sell. So this is a shot in the dark, but let's just say you click on this item and you can see where they're selling. Let's highlight and copy. Now this isn't exactly the place to get high profit uh, products. Some of the other ways are probably better, but you're gonna see that they are selling. now. Now, honestly, I did not check this beforehand, but you can see that's listed for $63.69. So let me tell you something too. Be a smart shopper. Don't just go out and buy the first thing you find, but you can see that that's $40 there. And you think eBay is cheaper, but anymore, it's actually more uh, just because of everybody like us jumping on there. Now, there are some legit sales that are going to be cheaper. Like this one looks like it's somebody's like, so base it off the picture. This is a drop shipper. That's somebody who bought it, doesn't want it. All right. And they're trying to get rid of it. So be a smart shopper too. So you can see it's listed as 69, 63.69 to check whether or not how much it's selling. Remember to go up here to advanced and sometimes it's down here um, to completed items, but you want to do completed items here where another way I'll show you to do it is go to advanced and click completed search and let me know in the comments below what you think so far of the series what you like what you dislike what you've learned uh, what you want to learn so now you can see whether or not this has been selling so it the green is is sales and the black is didn't sell so pretty much every time it's listed it's selling so my guess is if it's selling this much there somebody sold it for 63.69 you could drop ship this that was about a little over a week ago, probably two weeks by the time you watch this video, maybe even more, but that's one way to do it. Another way to use Google is to go to something called Google Trends. You type it in the Google search. It's going to bring this up or you type in trends.google.com. You click on it and it shows you what's being searched on Google. This is like a free tool that's actually amazing. It'll show you all the things that are trending, what searches are trending, like Fortnite had a big event the other day. Um, I could see the protests, uh, the year in search. You can see what's being searched in the years that it's being searched. Um, so let's just go up here and type in dog collar and see what's being searched. So then you know what people are looking for and that whether or not it's been looked for over time. So interestingly, when the coronavirus hit, the search for dog collars went up, probably because people were getting out more with their dogs. Springtime's hit, you know, they wanted to get out. Um, you can see where they've been searching for it. So if you want to target, like with a Facebook ad, you can see the region that it's, that it's being searched for the most. You can see related search words. Um, so this is a great way to find products as well. Another thing you can do is compare with a different search term. So you can type in something different. Now, what else you want to look at is actually the suggested search terms to help you find things that might be 
being searched. But then this compares what's being searched. Let's do a dog pool. And so you can see the more you um, put in there, the more you can find out. Now, just because it's a lower search doesn't mean you're not going to make more money. It could be that there aren't a lot of them and you could list the product that's a dog pool and actually make more money. Um, but you just have to experiment with that and then you go back and you do your shopping on here and you find a, a place like this and then you can take that information. Let's just say you want to list this on eBay. You're going to copy it like this, okay, and paste it into your eBay cell for. You can take all that information, but just remember you want to make an Excel sheet to know where you found this item picked for pets. The other way, if you forget, is just go back and do your search term, and hopefully you'll find it again once you sell it. But thanks for watching. Again, if you're interested in a different way to make some money, contact me. I'd love to team up with you and teach you what I'm doing. Amyhunt.biz is where you can get a hold of me or look in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys.